I'm so hungry. T Tessa, why are you here? I told Date I was hungry, so... Right, Ota, now, bear with me on this, right? But, she's, she's dead, right? I'll have my usual, Ota. Y yes, right away. What a good little simp. You're coming back to life. Hold it! What do you mean coming back to life? Well, so, right, first off, she's dead. Second, might be a robot. Third, magic is real. Uh... Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Tessa died? Yep. Omelette rice. Ota's omelette rice is so good, it gives me stomach cramps. Is that a compliment? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Well, uh, Ota appears to have taken I wish I could afford food. nice food. Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. That's not true. Come on, dude. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Come on, dude. Everyone knows. Not very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Iris. You're still looking for him? Well, like I told you before, I don't know. I don't really know why you thought Ota would suddenly have information on this, to be honest. She's in the living room. I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just doing some meditation. Lying on the ground. He was masturbating. He means sleeping. Hmm. Date, why are you with Tessa? <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Oh, a date. Huh. A date? I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. Sorry, simp. Date, I have some delicious fuku eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like some? No thanks. I'm fine. Yeah, my dad taught me when I was little. You're making me something too, right? Sure. My treat, Date. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Well, um... Oh, I know. Yeah, can you just explain this really complicated, like, concept to me that everybody actually already knows about? <laughs> Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, if we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. What if I win? I'll do anything. A anything? Fucking stop it. Mm-hmm. Anything. Date, your heart rate is rapid. Fucking stop it. Why exactly is that? Alright, let's do this. Fucking stop it. Always throw rock. Good old rock. Nothing beats that. Shoot. Damn. Tie. The most boring result. Well, we agreed on the rules. Let's shake hands. Shakey, shakey. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ota's like, oh. I can't believe he's touching her hand. How degenerate. We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? We tied and shook hands. But in a different timeline, maybe I got a reward from you. Or maybe you could have seen me naked or something. Fucking stop it. Why did I choose rock? What exactly were you going to make her do? Fucking stop. So those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? That's what I think. Huh. 
Well, that's the quantum suicide theory, but I, usually that's for you dying, not someone else, you know? I can't believe it, but... Sure you can! Parallel worlds exist! Do you know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? Yo, the Mandela effect's so fucked up, dude. God damn. Or the 100 million balls. If I explain that, would you believe The me? what? What the Sounds fuck really is interesting, Tessa? I know some urban legends like that. Dude, we're not talking about what the fuck We're not talking about fucking Sasquatch, dude. The <laughs> like... spatial temporal man and the lost friend and the story of two sisters. Well, I can sort of imagine which story is the Temporal man, I don't know about the other ones. Oh, thank God. This world is full of really interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? No, what? That humans exist at all. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. Oh, this is like the fine-tuning thing, yeah. If things were even slightly different. Well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed yeah, at all. I know this is the fine-tuning argument. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is extremely low. And yet, here we are. Hmm. Imagine a box full of ping-pong balls, labeled one to a hundred million. Would you be able to pick out the one? Not likely. But what if there were one hundred million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. Hmm. What is this one? Dante, look at this picture! There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Which one is Booba, and which one is Kiki? Well, you know, I'm gonna be pretty basic on this one, I'm sure, but Kiki is definitely the spiky one. Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. The rounder one is Booba, and the jagged one is Kiki. How can you not, you know? Isn't that weird? No, Kiki's a sharp sound, you know? In other words, everyone thinks that Booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. Yeah, Kiki is sh a sharp sound, and, and you know, we can be crass and say, yeah, boobs are round, so <laughs> yeah, Booba, obviously. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. Like worshipping the sun and the sea, or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. I haven't heard that one before. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. Oh, uh, of course. There exists a second psychic system of a collective universal and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. That's what Jung said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated, but underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too, connected at a subconscious level. Is that level. true about bamboo? I'm sorry, I'm fucking stupid. I don't know anything. That's a parallel world. Yeah, you saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots, you get to another bamboo stalk. Yeah, something like that. That's actually super cool. That's an excellent theory. Actually, I like that. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Well, yeah. The former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. This is the only one I actually knew offhand by the name. Right? He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. Oh, uh, yeah. Or people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. Oh, yeah. I've 
I've gotten got by that one, actually. But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. I've been gotten by the Kennedy one before. That's I have I've I've yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know the the, the Bearstein Bears, the other Bearstein Bearstein. I I know that one. I've gotten got by Kennedy though. Huh. I thought it was a four-seater too. It, fuck. Shit. No. I have something in common with Ota. Fuck. Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being. Oh, I've gotten got by this one as well. It wasn't. Nope. It's all yellow. Oh, I've also been gotten by that one. <sighs> and the design didn't change. Oh. Lines from movies, company logos, historical events. Yeah, I've got. Things. I've been gotten got by Pikachu the as well. Effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds. That would explain it. So, some of the like the Bearstein Bears one is so close that it's like ah, uh, people could easily have just misheard that one, you know, like. But you know. Some of them are like, damn, really? I was fucking... Anyway. The Mandela f effect's fucked up, dude. Alright, now. To Spatial Temporal Man is the guy that said he was from a country that no one could find on the map. Yeah, it's sort of like a common experience. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. Never mind, completely different to what I thought he was going to be talking about. And most of them describe seeing the same person. The Spatial Temporal Man. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. Never heard of this one before. The spatial Temporal Man guides people back to the real world. He tells them, this world is not for you, or something. I'd like to meet him someday. So, this elementary school kid, let's call him C. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor. Postcards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. But C realized that those were all things from his own house. How did they get to the classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose or there was a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Yeah, maybe. This is totally tangential, but I remember hearing this theory once that there's like... I don't know why this made me think of this. There's this theory that like... There's a chance, albeit astronomically low, that if you were to bang your hand on the table, it would actually just go straight through the table because all the particles of your hand could just so happen to miss all the particles of the table and just go straight through. Which is fucking incredible to think about, but like totally sounds like bullshit, you know? So there's this girl, well, let's call her B. She's practicing piano in her room. And her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really gonna let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. But then... B hears her sister at the door. I'm home! B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? But her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. B is really confused by all of this, of course. She asks her little sister about it. And she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. Yeah, what B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. Ota's stuff is way less interesting than Iris's. There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. 
One day after school, they're walking home together. Wait, hold on. Why does Suzuki get to have an actual name and all the others are letters? <laughs> a turns around to tell Suzuki a joke, and Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing, and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. Okay. What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. The nerves were still connected, but... A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. Oh my god! What are you talking about? So, A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious, but he's not getting any answers. So they just part ways. I wouldn't home. ask any questions about this. I would never speak of this moment again. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, oh my God, demons are real. <laughs> you know, like, oh God. The story only gets weirder from here. The next day, A goes to school and Suzuki's not there. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. A says, what are you talking about? And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. Dude, I'd be like, oh my god, he was like a fucking alien and he blew his cover and they've killed him. <laughs> So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Ota, your versions of this suck. <laughs> Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No, A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. It is weird, and there's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. That can't be true. Ota is correct. Dislocated eyes are easy to replace in their sockets. No. As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative effects either. This can't be true. But that doesn't prove this Suzuki exists. Mm, squeakers. Well, I guess not, but... I know a ton of stories like this. Like being suddenly transported one year into the future, and there's a missing persons report out for you. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's not yours. It's not the one you remember having. Dude, Ota's stories suck. You look through the contacts, and it's filled with names you don't recognize. Sounds scary. There's more, too. Like this town where everyone is Japanese, but they're speaking a completely different language. And all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters. And it's not like Korea or China. It's the Japan we know, but the language is different. That's a prime example of a parallel world. Up to your stories suck. When did you two get so knowledgeable? Oh, I don't know. Yo, Ota's just believed like every post he's found on Reddit, okay? Like Tessa is always writing about this stuff on the internet. Real? You're just out there posted about the fucking Mandela effect and shit? That's why I decided to research it too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Reading fucking stories on no sleep doesn't count. Oh. I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. No. I find that stuff fascinating. Of course you fucking do. If you want, we could talk about those. I do not want to discuss the lizard men with you. Maybe next time. Now where's that omelet rice? Done. Bon appetit. Bon apple tea. Sorry, I was skipping over that. She tried to pick up a spoonful. Tessa, are you okay? I'm fine. My hand slipped. 
you a fucking robot? Let's see. You having a little trouble, a little trouble over there after being put into a new body or something? What's going on? There was no conversation, just the sound of the spoon hitting the plate. The diner echoed with it, and before long. Ah, thanks for the food. Iris was totally re-energized. <coughs> Her face went back to her usual easy smile. That was good. Ota, your omelet rice is seriously the best. Yeah, it was actually really good. Aw, oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. He taught me well. I paid for the food and stood to go. Let's get going, Iris. Thanks again. Thank you. Come back soon. <laughs> Hey, you want to tell me about what happened yet? Hey, Mama, it's me. Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for you. Sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is she a virgin? I'm not gonna answer that. Anyway, remember what we talked about? There's a regular. They should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right, then I'll see you there. Okay, I'll be here. How are you talking on your phone without earphones? Controller. I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Is it not eat? Like, just show her the fucking eye, dude. Wow, cool! Dante, it's the boss. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Dante, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? If I did, I would have told you. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Hmm. That's fair. What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Dante. Mm-hmm. Do you realize how screwed I am? Mm-hmm. Go find number 89. It's okay. You'll be pleased to know in a parallel world we have a video of you shooting so in the head. If I find Renju, I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? Wait. Are you trying to get her drunk? Why is that what you assume? She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? Well, whatever. Hmm. I'm sure you have a good plan. Find those two and arrest them. Got it? So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boy, when you said suspicious, you fucking meant Whoa. it. Dante! Wait, I. Oh, I guess it was a Dante! spare. Special gun. Oh my god. Stay right there. Okay. Oh my god. If I grab Iris and try to run, we'll be shot full of holes. The alley between the buildings are blocked off. We can't go that way, which means. Shit. We gotta take care of them. 
I have reached the same conclusion. But I've only got a single revolver. Instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. What's the plan? You see that hanger over there? Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? Don't ask questions. Just do it. <sighs> Not a problem. Easy. Easy. Oh my fucking Oh my fucking god Oh, oh my fucking god Are they stupid? Jesus fucking Oh God I hate this game sometimes Just as I calculated What kind of calculations did you do? Dante, focus Now, the burst shot. Shoot the porno mag vending machine. The porno mag? Oh no. Oh my god, no. I said no questions. Hurry! Shoot the vending machine with the burst. My god. Really? like this before dude yeah they must be stupid you are too what the final step but you don't have to do a thing hello mama there's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar there's Don't use my voice without permission. This is an emergency. I will slap you if you don't shut up. Now, we're ready. We just need to use the fire extinguisher. It's loaded with high pressure seal too. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. Shoot the top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. Now let's go. Is that all? So Iris, about this, um... Ready? Here I go! to my calculations. Toot? What the fuck was that? This game was supposed to be about solving crimes. And yet here we are. This is 
My place. Are we not going to talk about what just happened? The building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. Brother, it was like a full hucking squad. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked your phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. Sunfish should be safe. I'm sure the mermaids are taking good care of her. If anything, she'd be in more danger with us. Iris, I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. Shouldn't we tell her that there might be, like, fucking a squad of hitmen outside the building at some point, you know? Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you, do you have any idea who they were? After a long uh, silence, Iris spoke. There's a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. I wanted you to protect me. I wanted a bodyguard, but I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. But now, I'll come clean. My life is being threatened by a secret society. They're called the Nizet Laws. Excuse me? The what? A group under the control of the Wajet system. What? Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. I discovered them and what they were up to, and now... Date, please help me! I can see why you wouldn't have come clean about this at the start. They're going to kill me! Wait, wait. Slow down. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to explain a lot of what you just said. It's spelled N-A-I-X-A-T-L-O-Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nyes. They're deeply connected to the Wajet system. Their organization is everywhere. International politics, business leaders, all operating in secret. In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, there's a satellite. It's about 150 feet long, quite big for a satellite. Is that big for a satellite? I wouldn't know. True. Most satellites are between 5 and 10 feet long. Real? I thought they were so much bigger. The International Space Station is roughly 330 feet long. Real? So this satellite she is describing is about half as big. Real? I thought these things were so much bigger. It's always in the same place. And there's no doubt that it's man-made. But by who? And when it was launched, no one knows. Also true, the first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one could identify it precisely. Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite and that was it. But that's not the truth. X00639 is a super-powered radio transmitter. Radio? Transmitter? But it's not complete. It's still being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. This was supposed to be about solving crimes. I just wanted to catch my little eyeball murderer and go home. But, like, guys, like, things have gotten away from me slightly. Well, you know about the Wajet system, right? Dangus, you were right. This is fucked up. It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate, Elgorg, but no specifics have been revealed. Basically, the Wajet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. It was transmitted to Earth in binary, as radio waves. They were caught by the space dev team at Elgorg, and when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. So, I, a bit, uh, Iba, are you a fucking alien? Is that what I'm being told right now? That's the code they used to create the Wajet system. Is this true, Iba? It is patently ridiculous. So you're not an alien, is that what you're telling me? The Wajet System AI was built by decoding radio waves sent from outer space. 
A secret society calls Nizalots or Nikes. Nick Nikes? Ni I've forgotten. Knows the secret of the Wajet system and obeys its will. Their ultimate goal is to complete the radio transmitter satellite X00639. Okay, so. Anyway. I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. Real quick, how do you know this? Can you cite a source? If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. Because they're an AI, they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Iba, are you an alien? Doing this over and over means that Wajet will eventually spread across the universe. Is this, is this like a fucking Endwalker thing? You know, like, what's... Yeah. And after that? After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? Well, it finds nothing but misery, and then it decides it's going to end existence. I don't know. You don't know? Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Fair enough. Wajet is a lie. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. Fair enough, to be honest. Nyze and Wajet have a mutually beneficial relationship. Wajet can control stock prices. Nyze benefits from that. To be fair, also, if, like, I knew a fucking AI had come from outer space, I'd probably be pretty tempted to just do what it told me as well. In return, Nyze helps Wajet's ultimate goal. That's why Nyze is in militaries and corporations all over the world. To help build X00639. But like... Let's say that one day Wajet shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Wanna help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something. Or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wajet made their own predictions. And they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. I... Alright, I get it. You do? I bet I'm a hundred- I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you, brother. Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. <sighs> but listening to your explanation, Nice doesn't sound like a bad organization. They... They literally tried to kidnap her. No, that's not true. I don't know where you- what- like, where from that did you take, oh yes, they're a benevolent organization? Think of how much money and resources are going to Nice. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty, and all the wars happening across the planet, and human trafficking and slavery. Nice has the power and resources to put an end to all of that, but they don't. They well, only care about themselves. Look, so do a lot of people. And they'll do anything to protect their own interests. They'll kill if they have to, which is why I'm being targeted, because I found out their secret. How, by the way? Well, I can't say yet. <sighs> but it's true, believe me. Nice is dangerous. You have to understand, Date. You... you saw my dead body. Do you think that you were killed by Nyes in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. Please. This is no more ridiculous than being told we altered fucking history or some shit, Don't you leave know. Me. You have to protect me. Think. Iris's story is, well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't believe a word of it. But it is true that she was almost kidnapped by some mysterious group. If only I had thought to investigate any of those people. Damn. 
and it's true that I saw her dead body in the cold storage warehouse. And if that happened in a parallel world, which for some reason we're assuming... You can't tell me that you actually believe this. Iba, you use the Wadjet system too, right? So what if I do? So you're saying you're an alien. Do you suspect me, Date? Do you think I'm an agent of Nice? No, I think you're an alien, and a much more reasonable explanation. Fine. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. A sink. Of course. Okay, why not? I didn't want to take her there because boss would be waiting. The men who attacked us at Golden Yokocha were waiting for us. That means they knew we were coming. Why would that be? Someone tipped them off. Well, who could have? Someone who knew we were going to Marvel. That's right. No. Yeah, not many people knew that. Boss. Impossible. If only you knew about the timeline I've seen. Contact Pewter. I want to ask him something. Understood. Oh, Dante. Do you need something? Ah, controller. So. Where are you? I'm out drinking in Shinjuku. I was actually thinking of heading over to Golden Yokocho, but I heard something about a shootout. So the cops have it sealed off. Maybe a shootout between gangs or something? The world has become a dangerous place. Pewter, where's boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home? Pewter, I need to know something. Does a sink machine exist outside of Abyss? If it does, I won't have to go to Abyss. I can just go there and sink with Iris. Yeah, probably not though, to be honest. I don't think we'd be able to waltz in and use someone else's anyway. For now. The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. That's so. Stolen? Yes. It was being transported when it was attacked and then stolen by an armed group of men. The culprit is still on the loose. The device was never recovered either. Hmm. Iba, were you aware of this? No. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. So, neither you or Boss are at Abyss right now? No. Good. I could take Iris there without a Thanks, problem. Peter. See you later. Sure thing. Can you just use that machine by yourself? I kind of thought it needed to be like a multi-purpose person thing here. Date, where are we going? Inside your dreams. What? I'm gonna sync with you to determine if what you were telling me is true. And if it is true, I'll fulfill your wish. My wish? You don't remember? To become your bodyguard. Is that alright? Yes, of course! What if someone like walks in while we're in the machine? Just like Peter said, boss wasn't there. I bet knew exactly how to use the device. I followed her directions at the control console and prepared the machine quickly. Date, this time I will be remotely operating the sink. Roger that. Are you ready? Yes. The time limit is six minutes, as always. I know. All right, let us begin. Dude, things are getting out of hand. Not what I was expecting. What is this place? Ew. 
It is... Uh, difficult to move like this. Why do you look like that? I went with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. Oh. I guess that's fine then. You can quit if you want, you know. Never! I will never give up! You don't have to take it that far. In any case, it seems that we've finally arrived. Is this world made of jelly cubes? This is Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge? I don't see any shovels or forges. Iris said that she was focused on streaming this game lately. What's that got to do with forges? Forget about the forges and listen. Well, like, it's her dream, so, like, what? You know, you've never had a dream that was, like, related to something you were doing? This Somnium is the world of Shovel Forge, a sandbox game in which you make and move cubes to create structures on a map. I'm not playing this game. On the contrary, you already are. Oh, come on, I don't want to play. Accept the reality, Date. You have no choice. Good evening, good morning, and hello! It's Tessa, also known as Aset. You bet! I'm going to be playing Shovel Forge today. Let's dive right in! Iris's Let's Play has begun. This is getting a little weird. Help me, Date! You have to help me! Oh. It's nice! They're coming! Find me, Date! Oh, a pickaxe! Lucky! What was that all about? It appears that this Somnium will not be easy like the other ones. I didn't think the other ones were all that easy. Are you ready? Let us begin. Okay. Somnium scan. Activate. Come on, you didn't do a different particle effect? Unbelievable. Uh, fuck it, hell, that was jarring. Alright, not a problem. Let's do this. <laughs> 